28, 2019, 420 p.m. for all you stoners out there. I did not plan that. Why would I? Um, this is episode 601. Before you know it, we'll be at 700, and Ariel will be saying, I just seemed like yesterday we did 600. Um, Alright, uh, so Trump wants to uh, host a G7 at a shitty golf club. One of his shitty golf clubs. He has many shitty golf clubs. Um, and before that happened, I predicted that he would do this. But that doesn't mean like I, I'm brilliant or a genius or I'm so smart and clever. Uh, everybody saw that shit coming. I mean, at least every journalist. Maybe Trump supporters didn't. Right now they're going, oh, wow, that is such a great idea. He isn't he a genius to think about that? Fucking grifter. Um, he is a grifter. I mean, this is a failing club that has bed bugs. At least it had bed bugs. I, I, I wouldn't stay there. I feel safer in a Motel 6. I stayed in a hotel once in, in Nashville that smelled like kitty litter. And I'd rather stay there than one of Trump's crappy places. Um, I don't know why it smelled like kitty litter. It just did. Um, but anyway, this whole... Um, uh, bed bug infested thing has really pissed Trump off. He's tweeting about it. I don't know if it's, I don't know who he's feuding more with today. People about bed bugs of Puerto Rico. But, you know, every time Donald Trump goes to one of his clubs, he makes money. Uh, we have to pay for him to stay there. We ha have to pay the Secret Service, uh, the government services that goes with the president. Uh, everything that the club can charge when people stay there or use the services or, or eat the food. Uh, Donald Trump makes money. He does. And he's talking about how much money he's losing as president. Um, the thing is, maybe he will lose money as president, but he's not going to lose as much as he says. Uh, most people do lose money while they're president. Uh, they tend to make it back after they leave office, but being president is actually kind of expensive <laughs> uh, just to live. You have to pay for your own food. You have to pay for your own vacations. You do. But... But the government also has to pay for people to go with you and all that stuff. Uh, so when Donald Trump does stay at his resorts, uh, the government's paying for everybody else. But if he some, can somehow finagle it into official business, then I'll even pay for him. You know? But now he's he's hosted Japan and uh, China at Mar-a-Lago. And which means that he has made money off those governments, and now he wants to do the G7 at his crappy club. And he says because an airport is close by, because he is the only one brilliant enough to build a club next to an airport. No one's ever thought about building hotels and convention centers near airports before. He reminds me, we were at Comic Con last week, and there was an airplane going over like every 30 seconds when we were outside eating pizza. You know why? Because it was built next to a fucking airport. <laughs> Every airport has shit like that. Fucking idiots. I tell you what, though, I bet you there's McDonald's nearby. And that might be a factor. Because Donald Trump will probably feed them world leaders McDonald's. And he's not just going to build six governments. He's going to, more are invited. He's going to build up to 20, probably. All right, let's do some shout outs. We'll get off this rant. Okay. Um, we rant about it all day. I do like this cartoon though. I dig it. I dug it. I had the idea yesterday before I even did the last one, but I wanted to do this one second because I thought it was a better cartoon. So I thought let's just let that be the, the, the book in. Right. Ariel says congratulations on hitting 600 videos by. Well, thank you, Ariel. And and thanks me for absentee shout out for commenting on episode 599. It has been a crazy ride this far. Uh, yeah, I figured everybody who's ever commented needs a shout out when we get to these big numbers. Uh, now most people, I mean other people may not remember, not here every day. But people who are here every day, almost every day, de definitely deserves a shout out when we hit those big numbers. Um, even if they hit missed the day before or whatever. And Amanda congratulates me on that. Thank you. Thank you for listening to all these. Uh, Amanda says El Charo, but I was close. You didn't know that I was like teasing on the name El Barno. We, we had, that'd been like a week ago. That was some good food though. 
Oh, that's where I embarrassed you as a waiter. I won't tell that story. I, it's now it's like my my mission in life is to embarrass Amanda at least once every time we go out. Um, and it's not really that much of a challenge, so I don't know why. TJ says, "No way, the country with a huge cross on the flag." Congrats on 600 episodes. You do understand that these some of these countries are very very old, TJ. They weren't just made yesterday. Um, they, they have kind of changed their demographics since those flags were created. They, they, they're proud of their culture and history, but I don't think they can they always represent exactly where they are. Um, they're not a religious fundamentalist nation, okay? And we shouldn't be either. Robert Cotino says, I wonder if the president will ask about dumping a bunch of ice cubes into a hurricane next. He probably already has, Mr. Robert Cotino. And, uh... Hope your headaches and sleep apnea gets better. Hope you get one of those CPAC thingy machines. I know sleep apnea is a biatch. I don't have it, but I've, I've lived with people who have had it. And I know, I know, and I have some friends who have it. So I just like the people I live with weren't my friends. Um, my best friend has sleep apnea. He's told me about it. I haven't witnessed it. Don't want to. But it stinks. And you don't even have to be a big guy to have sleep apnea. That's, that's a common belief, but you don't. So, you can hit anybody. All right. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Uh, guys, click the red button, subscribe, and I'll give you a shout out if you leave a comment. Goodbye.